Happy St. Patrick's Day. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. <coughs> Trustee Aarons? Here. Kammerer? Here. Carbonero? Here. Martin? Here. Ranky? Here. Shipman? Here. President Wallace? Present. Um, first item on our agenda is our invocation. We've requested that uh, Reverend Tim Casey provide the invocation for us this evening from United Methodist Church. Good Shepherd United Methodist Church. Gracious God, we are grateful for our community. You have blessed us well. May we use the blessings that we have received in order to raise the quality of life for not only ourselves, but for those around us. We ask that you be with this council this evening. Bless these trustees. Bless our village president. We thank you for those of our community who uh, protect us and who uh, care for us in so many ways. We ask also that we would be helpful to our neighbors when we can, mind our own business when we should, and that we enjoy all the goodness that we receive here. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Casey. Um, Trustee uh, Martin had requested that we um, recognize uh, Paul J. Seeger Sr. with the moment of silence, and um, Trustee Martin had a few words for him. Um, <clears throat> we lost a veteran um, last week. Uh, Paul J. Seeger Sr. was a member of our uh, post, uh, VFW member, post 11018. He was a World War II vet, and he fought in the Euro European theater, and he was a... Uh, a driver of landing crafts, and he was in the U.S. Navy, and he was 89 years old. Moment of silence, please. Thank you, Trustee Martin. Now join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item we have is our consent agenda. All items uh, marked with an asterisk will be considered routine and enacted by one motion. Um, if there's any separate discussion on any items uh, on the consent agenda, uh, is any board member at this point a request to re remove an item from the agenda? Anybody want to add something? Mr. President, I'd like to add item number six. Item number six. The minutes. Very good. I'll entertain a motion. Any, any other things that need to be added to the agenda? I entertain a motion to amend the consent agenda to include item number 6, 2015-2016 proposed budget presentation minutes for March 3, 2015. Um, board and committee minutes March 3, 2015. So um, and the items on D1 and 2. It's moved by Trustee Carbonaro. Second. Seconded by Trustee Martin. Would the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Aarons? Yes. Camera? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Martin? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Shipman? Yes. The motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve the amended. So moved. Consent Second. Center. It's moved by Trustee Martin, seconded by Trustee Ranky. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Aaron? Yes. Camera? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Martin? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Shipman? Yes. That motion carries. Next item we have on our agenda is under Treasurer's Report. I see there's none. And I believe a large crowd is here for the President's Report, at which at this point I would be honored to um, read a uh, presentation in re recognition of uh, Mr. Steve Kane.
Steve Kane's memory tonight by gathering um, his fr family and friends to highlight his service to the village of Bartlett. Steve and his wife Janet have lived in Bartlett for almost 30 years, raising two sons, Steve Jr. and Jonathan, and a daughter, Katie. After graduating from college, Steve began his career as an architectural draftsman uh, and, size, and site development administrator at McDonald's then became an engineering technician at the city of Park Ridge for the remainder of his professional career. He was a baseball coach in the Bartlett Little League and a basketball coach in the Bartlett Park District League. He was very proud of his military service of both active duty and in the Naval Reserves, achieving the rank of lieutenant commander before he retired. Steve's work for the city of Park Ridge, reviewing building and site plans, was a tremendous asset to his appointment in the Bartlett Plan Commission. The Plan Commission was a favorite of Steve's being appointed on October 19, 1993, and serving for 21 years. Steve brought to the Commission his knowledge of architecture, engineering, and business, and his keen ability to review site and building plans. Many times Steve made recommendations to developers to improve their design and layout. It is with a heavy heart, but with great appreciation, and respect for Steve that the village present, presents this honor to Steve's wife, Janet, for his 21 years of service to the community he loved as a member of the Bartlett Plan Commission. Scott, it might be it might be even more appropriate for Janet to take a picture with the rest of the Plan Commission members that are here, so that would be great. Um, Ray, can you get that organized with the award? Once again, thank you to Janet and family. One uh, item on the President's report that didn't make the agenda this evening is um, uh, an appointment that i uh, made uh, recently to the Economic Development Commission. Um, Barry Kroll, Kroll, I believe you're here. I'm going to see here. You want to go ahead and stand up. Um, I've sent his information around to the board um, with no, uh, nobody disputing, and uh, we're happy to have you um, uh, be a part of the Economic Development Commission. So thank you for being here, Barry. Thanks, Mike. Next item we have on the agenda is question and answers uh, session. Uh, does anybody have any questions for the board at this time? Or for the staff? What's, um, what's the status on the Spartan report? 
We have received a draft copy of it, uh, brought it to the Economic Development Commission. They read it, identified a few things that they thought were really good ideas, and we have taken it apart and at a staff level and are including several of those ideas in our marketing plan, uh, which the board has directed us to uh, do, and we'll be bringing it to the board. And then we'll have copies of the whole Spartan plan as well. Okay, and, and when do you anticipate that happening? Oh, within a month or two. Okay. Anybody else? Hearing none, we'll move along to the town hall portion of the meeting. This is part of the meeting where the, anybody in the audience would like to address the board. We welcome you up to the podium. Please state your name and try to keep your comments to three minutes. Would anybody like to address the board at this time? Hi. Art Bershonic, 925 Auburn Lane. Uh, President Wallace and board, um, I saw in the Bartlett Examiner you guys are closing in on TIF district discussions. And it has uh, spurred a lot of interest in the community about what the TIF is about and what it's going to accomplish. I would like to request that the board set up a town hall style meeting, one or more, where you can get uh, an active conversation going with the community uh, since this is a long term commitment for taxes and uh, Development, I think that that would be a proper thing to do so everybody is aware of what's going on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prashanik. We'll consider that. But what is the what is the plan for the public engagement for the TIF? The hearing is uh, April something, right? There's a, there's a joint review board meeting that you passed that resolution at your last meeting that sets the joint review board on April 22nd. All the taxing districts will be notified of that. That's typically where the taxing districts provide their input. They will convene that joint review board meeting on the 22nd, and then you will have a public hearing, required public hearing on the TIF on June 2nd at your board meeting. And then after that public hearing, if you choose, there will be ordinances prepared that you can act on to create the TIF. But in terms of actual public outreach, we're, we're just going to have the public hearing before this board that's, in June. That's what is scheduled right now. Okay. And, and the joint review board is technically a public hearing, too. I was going to say, so at both of those meetings, public would have an opportunity to ask questions or be heard? If that There's statement. neighbors that are notified, all the neighbors within 700 feet of the TIF boundaries are notified, as well as all the taxing districts. Mr. Vashanik, you'd re recommend maybe an additional meeting? Is that what you're requesting? Yes. Okay. One where the board and the residents can have a uh, two-way dialogue at the public hearing with the other government entities is nice, but that should be dedicated to their interests. The meeting I'm talking about is for residents and businesses to be able to have a two-way conversation with the board. Okay. I would make a suggestion that we um, send a note around to the board and see if everybody's in favor of something like that, and if we are, then... We'll try to set something like that up. Thank you. Anyone else like to address the board at this time? Thank you, President Wallace. Charlie DeVoe, 111 Taji Avenue. I want to thank the Bartlett Police Department for their diligence in setting up a no parking zone on Taji to uh, alleviate the uh, school problem for parking during the days. They did a great job, and I really appreciate it, and I know my neighbors do also. Thank you, sir. Would anybody else like to address the board at this time? Hearing none, we'll move on to the standing committee reports. Uh, first standing member is planning and zoning committee, um, Chairman Kammer. Thank you, President Wallace. There is one item on the planning and zoning committee this evening, which is the petition of, for five variations to bring the property, commonly known as 220 Rosalara Court, into conformance with the requirements of the SR2 Suburban Resident Zoning District. The owner, Steve Klein, is requesting five variations. Uh, one, to allow the attached garage to encroach 2.8 feet into the 10-foot south side yard. Two, a north side yard setback of 7.5 uh, feet, uh, where uh, 7.5 inches 
uh, seven feet five inches where 10 feet is required. A lot area of 9,577 square feet where 10,800 square feet is required. A lot width of 71 feet where 80 feet is required. And a rear yard setback of 47 feet where 55 feet is required. These five variations address the existing nonconformities that resulted from the village's comprehensive rezoning in 1978, which rezoned the property from R1, single family residence, to SR2, single family suburban residence district. A public hearing was held on March 5th, 2015, that on the variations and the uh, SBA recommended approval subject to certain conditions and made the requ requ uh, requisite findings of fact. With that, I move to approve the passage of Ordinance 2015-21, uh, an ordinance granting lot size, lot width, rear yard setback, north side uh, yard setback, and south side yard setback variations for 220 Rosalara court, court as presented. Second. Second. Who's that? Motion by Trustee Cameron, seconded by Trustee Ranke. Is there any discussion? No questions at all? I didn't see any problems. Didn't see any comments that were negative by the commission, so. Mm -hmm. sure. Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Ahrens? Yes. Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Martin? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Shipman? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. President. That's, that's all we have on planning and zoning this evening. Thank you, Chairman Cameron. Next item on our agenda is under Building Committee, Chairman Martin. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report this evening. Thank you, Chairman Martin. Next item on our, our agenda for committee reports is uh, Finance and Golf Committee, Chairman Ranke. Thank you, Mr. President. Nothing on Finance and Golf this evening. Thank you, Chairman Ranke. Next item on our agenda is under License and Ordinance Committee, Chairman Carbonero. Thank you, Mr. President. Both items uh, were covered under the consent agenda. Nothing further to report. Thank you, Chairman Carbonero. Next item on our agenda is Police and Health Committee, Chairman Shipman. Thank you, Mayor. Nothing to report tonight. Thank you, Chairman Shipman. Next item on our agenda is Public Works Committee. Chairman Aaron. Nothing to report this evening. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Chairman Aaron. Uh, brings us down to new business. At this point, is there any new business for the good of the order? Hearing none, we'll move on to questions and answers. Any more questions at this point that have come up by the board? Hearing none, I'll, move, um, uh, mo I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. No so move. Second. It's moved by Trustee Shipman, seconded by Trustee Martin. Will the clerk please call the roll? 